guys, pretty epic day going on over here at the Bayou Garage Motor City. We are going to pick up our first C8. Woo! I'm excited! And that is what is in our garage today. <laughs> I think he was spoofing me right there on how I say that. Um, I think he's making fun of me. It's possible. Today on the garage, we will be showing a 2021 2LT Z51 C8 Stingray. The Z51 is the better brakes. It's got the little spoiler in the back. It's got the bows. It has the lift feature where it lifts the front to where it doesn't scratch the front valence. Doesn't it remember where you, if you set them in, can't it remember where the bumps are? I think it's 100, uh, 1500 uh, GPS spots, but uh, we're about to check on that. <laughs> We can find 1,500 places not to wreck the car. This is Louisiana. There are 1,500 potholes that we will be having to program. Every one of your friends' driveways? Yes, driveways for sure. Mine's pretty steep. Come down to Ray Chevy down in Abbeville, Louisiana. But shout out to Ray Chevrolet down here in Abbeville, Louisiana been waiting a couple of few yeah like a year talking about this thing so I know Jean Paul's excited I know I am been waiting for a while to get to see this one and drive this one so this is gonna be a good day now it's got a 501 mile break-in you can't actually like go crazy with it until you get to 501 miles so the first 501 miles not gonna be as fun as the next 500 miles probably but uh, I don't think it'll take us that long to get to 500 we got a date with a C8 you would think we waited long enough, but no, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for them to bring it out. It's a waiting game. So this is a 2021 Corvette C8, and it is beautiful. Dark grayish blue. 21 inch rims. We're gonna change those out. You're gonna get to see the new ones shortly. Don't nobody take my plastic off. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Bayou Garage, for letting me borrow your car. do have hidden door handles you actually can't see the door handles they're tucked them underneath this air dam and there's just a little button underneath it click boom done doors open so some beautiful two-tone you know suede with the le leather headrest the leather red trimming on here carbon fiber seats you have the Bose speaker in the center and your little storage compartment and then you have your console storage compartment your cup holders all of your controls going up the center, which I think is just stunning to make this look more like a jet fighter. Awesome suede steering wheel with the red stitching to match, the red stitching across the dash and all these little accents. Pure digital display. Actually, the rear view mirror is a video camera now. No real rear view mirror because you really can't see out the back of this. It's a Corvette. Yeah, you can take the roof off. Let me ask you this. What color would you have picked in this? Man, I wish there was a way to play sound systems on YouTube videos, but you know, hey, we can't be getting strikes here. This is gonna be the Body Garage display car. Looks like we're gonna have to head out to a couple of shows and events with it to show it off once we get all the little details done to it. It's like being a kid in a candy store. I like playing with these cars. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sitting in the driver's seat while he's signing the last little stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a fighter. This is an airplane. This is not a car. So what is pronounced uh, zero to 60 time in this car? Uh, I've been watching them on my Corvette forum and uh, I've been seeing 2.6. <laughs> I like to wear sunblock. 
And then someone will come in here and just rip it off like that. Man, what you doing, bro? You know that little plastic just, thing still on I just want to sit here and do that all day. Wow. Reverse. Wide reverse. Cool. See, well, we've, I've read all these discussions. Oh, I thought it was auto shifting at three and a half. Unless you went into manual mode, I didn't think it would. You can stomp on it and it will do whatever you want. It just, it's red right now. So whenever you get to 500 miles, it, it red lines at 6,000. Yeah. I think it's actually at 501. Yeah, it's 501. The videos. the videos, the guy's like, 500, you didn't do anything. And then they have to wait. Yeah. So do you find it comfortable right there, the controls? That's all you, it should be controlling everything. The mode dial, see, look at, look on your bottom of your dash. Oh, I didn't drop. It was controlling things over there. Your modes and stuff. Track. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, look, 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 a race car. On a side note, if you want to see all about this Raptor, Ford Raptor, yeah, well, it's a beast. We got some stories, and I still have some video clips from when it kind of went playing the snow. Maybe we should bring that to the channel soon. Tell me in the comment section below if you want to see more about this Ford Raptor. Now back to the Corvette. All right, I'm officially behind the wheel of a 2021 C8 Corvette. And here we go. Beautiful steering wheel, so comfortable. Oh, And it's got the Z button. I'm not, oh. What did it do? Oh, I pressed the Z button and a lot of stuff happened. I'm going to turn that off. I don't know what that does. But I don't think the car is ready. It's got to get to 500 miles before Z forces come into play. So this is kind of the perk of the job is we're taking it to get tint and a couple of little things done to it. So part one of the Corvette. I tell you what, it doesn't feel as big as it looks. It kind of looks like a bigger car. I mean, there's tons of headroom. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm, you know, 5'11". So I'm not super tall, but I'm tall enough. And there's tons of room. The hips come up really high in your side mirrors, but you still see. I do like how the passenger mirror actually sticks out farther than your driver's side mirror. So it's not actually symmetrical, but it's still good to go. But it doesn't feel as big as I thought it was. Like the Supra feels a little bit bigger than it is because it's kind of small, but it weighs a lot. And this one actually feels a little bit smaller. And other than the fender wells on the front tires, you cannot see the hood at all. It's gone. It's like Lamborghini gone. Wow. She gets out of her way. I tell you, <laughs> I just barely touched it. We went zero, like we went four miles per hour to 37. This is what it looks like from my point of view. All right, my foot's about quarter of the way in. That's about it. Like, I mean, literally, uh, if there's three and a half inches of play, I'm maybe a half an inch in. So yeah, I, I'm impressed, and I haven't even been able to see completely what it can do yet. This is just the first little test drive. I feel like I'm in a jet fighter. I really do. If this is what Tom Cruise felt like in Top Gun, well, yep, this is my Top Gun op opportunity. Raptor and the, and the review mirror is just like man that camera is amazing I love the little toggle switches and stuff like that oh so cool but I'm kind of sad because my little drive here is coming to an end I got about eight miles nine miles <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna get to drive some more we got to take it to cars and coffee uh show it off a little bit maybe get some new decals for it and have some fun with it but uh, yeah, my, my ride's coming to an end. Show you some more exterior shots and we're gonna do a lot more with this car in the future. So, trunk, frunk. No, it ain't leaving here. So make sure you uh, subscribe, stick with us, hit those buttons, blah, do all the stuff that YouTube says we have to do to help carry this on and bring us your ride. If you have a cool ride you want us to do a quick video on, we can do it in 15, 20 minutes. If you got an hour, we can do it in an hour and really do it up. Go for a joyride in it. 
Until then, what's in your garage? <laughs>